Hi guys, Ring here, and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Okay, so we are back, and I did a lot off camera. <laughs> I mostly did like level 10 to 12 side quests slash... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll just show y'all. So here are my quests. I did side quests. I did errands. I did bandit camp that was like level 8 or 9. I was like, okay, I should have just done that. I should have been done that. And I also did tall neck in the copper deeps. I also got some new weapons. So I bought these two. I bought the shadow hunter bow and the shadow rattler, which is like a gun, which is pretty cool. Except it's only close range, so I can't exactly snipe them with it or anything. I just have to be really close. Which I like. I like close combat for the most part. And then for my skills, I finished this tree. And I have a strong strike plus. And I also got knockdown, so I can do a heavy attack, which will knock down, you know, bigger enemies. Like you see there, Sawtooth, I think. Or a bigger version of a Sawtooth? I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know all the freaking machines in this game yet. I only know like the main ones. And I think that's about it. I wanted to get new armor for her, but I couldn't freaking... Basically, I farmed a lot of creatures or machines. I mostly farmed like the crab, crabby guy. I still did not get his heart. Oh, 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 the most important thing, guys. Right here. I bought this from the merch. <laughs> this is right here. It's very rare. And this is this item provides unlimited fast travel to discover campfires and settlements throughout the world. This is like a godsend. <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of only having two or one fast travel. And it's so annoying to travel around with just the mount. Like it's nice and all, but fast travel, oh my god, it makes it makes it so much easier just fast traveling like finishing the quest fast travel back instead of riding back which takes forever and then riding to the destination which is like 1k kilometers away it's just annoying <laughs> but yeah i bought this this was very expensive but it was worth it but yeah let's get right into the story i'm probably gonna just tame a regular strider because in the area that i need to go to it is all the way up here, and I have nothing unlocked up there. <laughs> so I have to sadly walk over there. But look at this freaking map, guys. I traveled a lot. And this was the um, Upper Deep's tall neck right here, so I unlocked this whole area. But yeah, let's just get the Strider and get the freak out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Yeah, you didn't hear anything. Let me just... Let me just do this real quick. You don't mind, right? Yeah, he doesn't mind. Oh, the other one minds. Now what? Uh, Aloy is, is called Get Out of Here. Hello? Okay, so we are here at the settlement. I'm guessing I can't bring Buddy with me in there. Marad's agent should be at the marketplace by now. Uh, where are you? Are you like all the way in there? Oh, uh, not in there. Uh, sir? Ma'am? Where are you? Ooh, campfire. Where is the frickin' person? Five minutes later. Oh, I think the person's over here. There you go. I was like, where's the person? No sign of Marad's guy. He's had plenty of time to investigate. We'd better look for him. Damn right. Well, that was fast. How'd he get here so fast? Did he fast travel? Like... <laughs> okay, so where is... Is the person up here? Ooh, there's a green chest over there. Nice scan. Ooh, tracks. Well, someone left here recently, and they were in a hurry. 
Oh. Oh. Ooh. Yikes. Has to be Murad's guy. Durval's thugs must have made him. Maybe because he found something. Look at this. I think he drew a map with his own blood. Right. Those kind of maps you know you better follow. That might be Pitchcliffe. He marked a spot to the north. Could be Durval's location. And my men are waiting outside of town. I'll grab them and meet you there. Okay. Sure. So where is it on the map? Okay, it's just further up, which is not too bad. Okay, guys, we're basically at the camp now. So what's going on here? Oh, Lord. Machines. Looks like they've been chained up. Durval's a tinker. He probably experiments on them or, or strips them for parts. Maybe I can use them to make some trouble. I'll go in first. Hold off until the fighting starts. All right. We've got your back. Okay, so... How can... Yeah, girl, start some trouble, exactly. Like, can I free them? I'm gonna try not to die and do something stupid. How do I... Hmm. What the heck was that? I wanna lay out the freaking sawtooth. Is that even called a sawtooth? Because it looks bigger than the regular one. Huh. Can I just walk up to it? Can't do anything. Okay, there you go. Well, this is not good. They're freaking attacking me. Uh oh. This is not good. Oh my goodness, I'm not prepared. I was expecting y'all to go in, not on me. Oh my frick. You know what? I'm so sick of this. Okay, good. Finish. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Let's get the gat. Heal. Come on. What? Uh oh. I don't have any healing. Oh! <laughs> no. Yeah, so remember when I said I wasn't going to die? Well, that's a different freaking story, apparently. Okay, I caused a ruckus. Are they gonna go into the town now? Okay, they're going in. Thank the gods, causing huge ruckus in there. Now they can deal with the frickin' sawtooth, and I don't have to deal with it. Oh shoot, there's more? Sure. Intruders! Unleash the machines! Shoot their chain! I hope so. Uh-oh. Come on! Okay, killed one. Oh, I didn't even see you right there. What the heck? Any more? Did all the machines die? Ouch. For them, obviously, not me. Uh-oh. Grenade! Move! This is, like, the weirdest fight of all time. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna use the Gatler. Uh oh. Take my weapon. 
What was that? Down. Oh. Get on point, damn it. The heck was that? Smack her. Yikes. Why does Aloy always do like the most unnecessary freaking thing? Okay. Let's find her. Okay, so we have to search for his sister, but I'm pretty sure that Sawtooth is still around. Unless he frickin' died, but I don't know. There's something lurking over there. Yeah, that sounds like it. Oh, they're in cages. Okay, I see. I slay. Oh, he's already in there. What am I doing? I don't want to wake them up. In here? Nerval says you gotta eat dirt. So why aren't we killing him right now? What's going on right now? That was so freaking weird. Uh Advance. Nope. Oh, come on. I was just doing such clean headshots. Out. What? Why are you out? Oh my goodness, why is he out? Uh Ursa must be in there. We have to get through. <laughs> oh get out! Frick! Oh, that sound. There must be a way to get through. Oh my god! Oh, no. This is scary! Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Uh oh. Ah! I've got ah! Uh Gatler. Oh, thank God. Oh. Whew. You can freaking stay in your cage. Oh. You freaking shot the thing out, the sawtooth. They must use these to protect themselves from that awful sound. I still hear that god awful noise. Ursa. Is she okay? She doesn't look so hot. Aaron? Durval tried to break me. Shows what he knows. I, sh I should have been with you. Why didn't you come for me? I, I know I'm a useless trunk, but... No, idiot. 
I got a message from Durval saying he wanted to parlay. I didn't come for you because I knew it was a trap. I couldn't let you get hurt. Just didn't think it'd be that good a trap. Thought I could take him out. <laughs> no. Now listen. Durval's planning something big in Meridian. He said he'd force Avad to watch as the smoke darkens their precious sun. Your king needs you. No more playing around. You're gonna have to grow up fast. I, I will. I promise. You damn well better, little brother. Oh no! Ursa. No, no. Please. I won't let you down. I promise. Oh, Arendan. I'm so sorry. We've got to find Durval. But Meridian's a big place. I'll, uh, I'll look through his things. Maybe we can narrow it down. Okay, sorry. Uh, What's Durval learned from all his tinkering? Do I even want to know? His purple job? Durval's records, maybe. Maybe. Just notes about crafting. And a letter tucked between the pages. Lots of blaze. Headed to Meridian. If we find it, I'll bet we find Durval too. Okay, let's uh, mention that to him. I think I found something that can help. Let's head back to the palace. Go. I won't be long, but I need to tend to my sister. Y'all already know what I'm about to do. You see that? 2k kilometers? Yeah, no, I'm a fast tribal. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you there. Okay, we are back here, and now we gotta find out where he's putting those explosives and all that. So where would he be hiding exactly? Somewhere where there's not a lot of people, I'm guessing. Okay, we gotta talk to Avad or Avad. However you pronounce his name, we're going to talk to him. <laughs> Hello, sir. I sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. If there's anything you or your clan need, I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Erend, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. Oh. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. Yes. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? Oh. She thought of you. I don't know about that, Chief. 
What does that even mean? Is that what you're really asking? Let me say that. She's not the one who's suffering now. You are. She died before you could say goodbye. Is it that obvious? You're right. I'm dwelling on my pain, not just hers. And there's only one thing left that can help. Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. We will give him the one too, if y'all know what I mean. <laughs> okay, so apparently the warehouse is not far from here. Let me look at it on the map. Oh, is that like the top? Oh boy. Able bodied adventurers, preferably with no friends or family, but I'm not choosy. Okay, so is this it? it looks like this it's locked up. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. What is that? Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right. It's a bomb, all right. I'll shut up. Well crafted. Okay, so what do we do? Can I get close to it? Please. It must be leaking from something upstairs. Ugh. Looks like ooze. Slime, even. If that bomb goes off... The blaze will ignite in a firestorm. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's, there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. Okay, so how can I get rid of it somehow? If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Ugh. Okay, so there has to be something. Around? No. Oh. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Oh! Sure. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is going to get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. <laughs> well, time to run. Holy moly. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This isn't over. Durval said he'd make a VOD watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace, and that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. I'm gonna look around. Maybe Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Something seems off about this. Like something seems really off. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Call the guard. There could be There's a ton of guards near him. So how are they going to get to him? Is the real question. The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Uh. Hmm. I don't know what you want me to do about this. Downstairs? This must be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Oh. Durval did find a way into the palace. Oh, shoot. Durval. 
I think he spotted us. Uh oh, she whipped out her weapon. Okay, uh, climbing, I guess. I think it's the only option. Okay. Where do I go from here? Down? Oh, there you go. I didn't even see that. And then jump over here. Fancy that, huh? It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. <gasps> <sighs> Guys, I don't even know how I freaking died there. <laughs> I don't know how I freaking died. No, skip. Skip the freaking scene. I'm so upset. Holy smokes. I didn't even think it was possible to die like that, but apparently I freaking died by missing the jump, quote unquote. Okay, so let's try this again and not miss the jump. There you go. Uh, I think they're just chilling. I mean, uh, wait, hold up. You guys don't mind me reloading, right? Well, they're still surprised. Ouch. For him. And you. So, what's... Okay. Oh, so that's how they got in. I hear the thing. Look at you, Avad. The wriggling runt of a maniac king. You robbed me of my right to kill your father. So I'll have to settle for you. I'm going to enjoy watching the Karja burn, even more because you'll be watching with me. Say goodbye to Meridian Avad. Breathe in the stench and choke on the ashes. Uh-oh. Something's wrong. It, it didn't. I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No. It should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Okay. Now let's destroy this thing. Oh, there he is. How do I? Oh. Let me uh, loot real quick. No room. No room. Oh, there you go. Uh. Oh, I guess I can't talk to them. What's this? Oh. You must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp. And disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Where'd you get that from? She's coming for us. You're stuck. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh. Farewell. Oh. Holy frick. I've got a sun god to kill. Oh my god. Oh. I've led an army. Killed kestrels and rebels. Uh oh. A savage is nothing. Okay. Now we got some room. This isn't over yet, wench. Why does a bard oh. always have his ladies do the fighting? Well, he was talking that trash, huh? Well, that was easy. It's not over yet, Nora. Any good Osaram Tinker will tell you. Always have a third plan. Uh, oh, he's calling. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate them. Uh-oh. 
Okay, wait, wait, wait. Those majestic, murderous glint hawks. Fire is effective against them. I know. Sprinkle hit. Kill him. Slice him. Okay, there's one. Oh, frick. Is that him? I did hit him. Why isn't he going down? I don't know why he's not going down. Uh-oh. Okay, he's going down now. I think... Okay. Now there's... Oh no, there's so many! Okay, I need a loot. And probably heal. Oh, I don't have any more. I can't miss these shots. I you like fighting these things because there's more in the way. Slice him. Slice him. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Where is everyone? Why am I the only one doing all this? Okay. I have 12 arrows and I don't know if I can finish this. As long as I don't freaking miss, right? I feel like I'm under pressure right now. I'll oh, frick. Go down. Okay, you should be able to go down. Please, go down. This is not good. Oh, frick. Come on! Oh frick! Okay, he's down. I'm about to go down too! Move! Okay. What? 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 Okay, he's about to go down. Why? Why'd you go down there? Okay, whatever. Oh my god, where's my- where's my aim? Nice, nice, nice. Just smack him! I couldn't do a critical strike! Okay, wait. <gasps> Heal! I, hope you like fighting these things. I don't! More in the way. I don't like fighting them. Shoot him in the stomach. Nice. Oh, I hate fighting them so much. I fought a few of them while I was doing my side quest. It was not fun. Okay, so why are you talking to this guy? As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Eren, you'll screw it up! Oh no! I know what you are afraid of. Going back to Mainspring in chains. Every clan in the claim wants you dead. And they know how to make it hurt. They'll even bid for the privilege. It's just like you to get someone else to do your killing. Shut up. You're at the Sun King's mercy now. Okay, that was clean. We see you. You didn't screw it up. Dang, he's slump slump. <laughs> he's out like a light. Oh, that was nice. Um, it's time to talk to everyone, apparently. 
Oh wait, I want to talk to him. Oh, he's down here. Oh, he's way down there. Hold up. Let me talk to people up here first. Stirring up tensions. Aloy, to say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient. You saved my life. You saved Meridian. And because of you, there will be justice for Ursa's murder. We can mourn her knowing the truth without painful uncertainty. It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you. And I don't want to try. I hope you will consider staying in Meridian. Uh... Were you and Ursa... You know... I suppose it's obvious how I feel... How I felt... About her. She didn't just give me advice. She gave me strength. Aww. You loved her. Together. Relations between the Karja and Osaram and Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osaram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city. And probably war with the clans. Did anyone know? Only one. Derval. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him. And so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Yikes. Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and, and capable. I, I could use someone like you at my side. Oh, that is, <laughs> that is so foul. Like, you used Ursa? <laughs> uh... Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Uh, of course. I, I didn't mean to presume. You are your own woman. Just as Ursa was. But please, remember that you're always welcome here. I hope that today is just a sunrise for us. Not a goodbye. Okay, let's leave. It's time for me to go. Of course. I hope you find what you're after, Aloy. And if need be, I will come to your aid. As sure as the sun's rising. Okay, don't get crazy. Like, we just friends. Like, we, we just met, like, literally, like, yesterday night. Like, relax. Oh, damn it. So, how's it going, Aaron? Hey, I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she... Also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty sure you're older. <sighs> yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? You did with Draval. Yeah, don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Oh my goodness. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. So, what now? So, after all this, what's next for Aaron Vanguardsman? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and... We'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Like how she would have wanted. And by that I mean... Less chit-chat. More drinking. Okay, well, bye. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master. All before breakfast. You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. And now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Aww. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. 
Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. Okay, don't get crazy. <laughs> Okay, 6,000 EXP, that is a lot. And is this Olin's quest? Okay, yeah, this is Olin's quest. So yeah, I think that'll end it for this episode. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. A lot freaking happened in this episode, story-wise, but I'm really enjoying it. Mind you, it's getting harder for me to, like, fight things now, because now that I'm in a different area, the monsters are strong. Well, not the monsters, the machines are stronger, and it takes longer for me to kill them. But at least I'm learning, like, off-camera, I'm learning how to kill them properly by testing out different weapons, different strategies, and... <clears throat> Definitely not dying a lot, but <laughs> you live and you learn, right? If you didn't know, I like to draw anime on Instagram at RainbowXWorks if you would like to check me out or give me a follow. And yeah, as always, thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.